So, a Christian is considered strange. I am not going to waste any tears on anybody who comes whimpering to me for sympathy because people think he's strange from following Christ. We're hearing it in the newspapers these days. A little school reads the Bible. The teacher reads a few verses, and maybe they say the Lord's Prayer together. Some little fellow sits there whose parents are atheists, and he thinks he is, poor little misguided innocent chap. And the parents memorialize the school board. And they say, we want to enter an official protest. It embarrasses our little boy when they read scripture. He's taught at home the scripture is not true, and he is embarrassed when they all bow their heads and say the Lord's Prayer, and he doesn't believe in the Lord's Prayer. They think he's strange. We want to offer a protest. What kind of cowards are they anyhow? You Christian parents know that your children went to grade school and then through high school, marked as being queer. And you made no protest. Christians know there's no use to make a protest. Of course they think we're queer, but queer means different, that's all. And of course we're different. And woe be to the Christian that isn't. And the moment that it can't be said of a Christian, he's different. He has disgraced his testimony and sold out his faith. For it is the mark of a church that they are people who are different. They think it's strange that you're different. But this example we take from Christ. For as much as Christ has suffered, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. So we have Jesus as our example. Sure, we're different. We aren't different, woe be to us in the day of Christ. Of course we're strange. And being strange, they will think us strange. But being strange only because you're morally cleaner than somebody else isn't anything to disgrace you. Some of you men work. My good friend sitting back there told me some years ago about having to go to banquets with his business. And he drank water, the grape juice, and they drank liquor. Was he strange? Sure he was strange. But if one of them gets in trouble, who will they come to for prayer? For the strange fellow who wouldn't drink liquor. Some of you work in offices where yours is the only clean mouth in the office. The rest of them are borderline dirty, or dirty outright. And you've got the only clean mouth. And they ride you by telling off-color jokes, trying to stir you. And you don't laugh. And you don't go along with it. You're strange. Sure you're strange. A clean thing is always strange when cast down in the middle of dirty things. A clean mouth is always a strange mouth when surrounded by unclean mouths. A pure heart is strange when surrounded by impure hearts. An honest man is strange when in the midst of dishonest men. But it's a good kind of strangeness. And the Church of Jesus Christ should be strange, queer, different, because she is clean mouthed, she is honest, and she is pure minded. Hello, stranger. God bless you, and the stranger you are, the better you will be.